we're back out here. I think, yeah, there's Catman down there messing with his camera. Same location we were yesterday afternoon with that field gobbler. We got a little bit to go before it gets light enough to owl hoot. But we're going to try and get this bird to gobble, locate him on the roost, and then move in and just try and call him to us. Pretty simple strategy. And uh, we'll make adjustments as, as warranted. warm out here. sometimes gobble this early. It'd be a bummer if he was roosted like right there. Yeah, and then fuh, 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 fuh. like, all right, let's go home. <laughs> Better luck next year. Do I dare do a coyote howl? Yeah. My gut tells me he's roosted on that point. And if he's not there, then anywhere else he'll be roosted and we'll have time to move. What point? Right, if you look at the map, it's a flat point goes straight out, triangle. Yeah, I'll show you. You use Onyx too? Yeah, I use Onyx. You use Onyx? Yeah, I love it. Here's the woods we're at right now. The corner. There's the point. And then down here they roost, they seem to be roost like right on the side there somewhere. And they, you know, they'll come up like right here, they'll be roosted here, they'll come up that ravine. It comes out right here, but they'll pop out somewhere. We haven't heard any birds gobble yet. So we're gonna move over here to the corner of the field. Right over there is a nice little point that goes out. We'll get just inside the woods. We'll make a turkey call probably here in a little while. Maybe get one to gobble that way. Shane thinks there's a good chance this bird is roosted off this point, which would make sense. So this flat hardwood's going out to a point, about 150 yards in. Somewhere. Something like that. He could be roosted somewhere else, but this is like a starting point since nothing's gobbled yet. He's gonna try to get, he's gonna try the owl hoot one more time. Just gonna sit here and listen for a while since nothing's gobbling yet. Well, me and Shane.
took a little nap in here. We got like two hours of sleep last night. And I'm laying at the base of the tree, you saw it wake up, and I thought I heard a hen yelp. So I yelped a couple of times, no response. And uh, I come over here so we could take a peek at the field, and there is a hen out there. I haven't seen enough of the field to tell she's got anybody with her. So that's why I'm gonna try to get eyes on the rest of the field. The hens went off down that way. We're gonna try to get eyes on some more of this field stuff. Wait, what's that out there? There's a turkey way out there. Way out there. Hold on. That might be, wait, no. It's a hen, well, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't see a beard. don't have a beard. It could be a jack, but I think it's a hen. See if there's anything behind it. You take your eyes up there for a small way though. Definitely not a long beard. I think it's a hen. Yeah, it's a hen. We got hens everywhere this morning. We're walking the shady side of the field here. Trying to get to a good vantage point to watch. See if this gobbler appears anywhere. And then make a move on him. We saw another hen. We spooked her off. She was like a million yards out. But, uh, haven't heard a gobble yet, haven't seen a tom yet, seen five turkeys. We're sitting here talking, BSing, and I heard a gobble, and Shane looked at me funny, he didn't hear it. It sounded like it was over a rise, it was not in the woods, it's out, he's out here somewhere. He's anywhere from, well, we were just over I heard there. a sound, and it sounded like back in that direction, but I didn't think it was a gobble. He's anywhere from there to there, no, it was a gobble. Okay. I just, you were, you were yapping. We could be careful. I mean, he could be like over the rise up ahead of us. I mean, should I climb up in that lock on? Not a bad idea. I don't know if I do get up that lock on where I could get eyes on him, then I'm kind of exposed on that side of the tree. Hmm. What was that? Is hmm? that my stomach? <laughs> I think so. I heard something go. I, I heard that. Startled. My I whole stomach startled me. <laughs> just don't fall out of the tree, please. I do know who I'm talking to. That's why I said don't fall out of the tree. Well, we got eyes on him. Yeah, they're right there, flying across the field behind those trees. I know, I'm tired. just saying, is he going to gobble at him? Yeah, yeah. We already know where he is. Yeah. Shane got eyes on this bird and, and watched him while I was stayed down here. He's up in the tree stand. And the bird went around the corner. Hardwood point that comes out into the field he he went away almost like he saw a hen or something so we're gonna try to come up that point and get eyes on him again or maybe cut him off and he strutted when he was going around the corner like he saw him yeah he probably did see him he's just gobbling his head off over there He's like he's like right up there, straight in line with just to the left of those aspens of birch in front of you. That's a lot closer than last time I heard him. You might want to slip to these trees and be ready with your gun. and then I'd just stand up right when you're about to shoot. I don't know. 
Are you confident? No, I think I think it's a little too far to the woods. If he's up against the woods, it's um 90 yards. Not by the woods. It's 90 yards to the woods. I'm just saying, it's 90 yards to the woods from that grass. Yeah. He's not at the woods. He's right on the other side of the grass. I think he is. I think he's 40 yards out from the grass. Yeah, maybe 40 yards, yeah, but I don't think he's got the woods. I'm gonna leave my camera here. Okay. I'm gonna start off just kind of holding it, and as I get closer, I'm gonna get lower. And you wanna take the sling off? What? You wanna take the sling off? No, that's good. I got it. Slope, you can just crawl like you're doing. Yeah, I know that's what I'm gonna do. We should just do it now before he has a chance yeah. to go left. Stay low. That gobble's not going to do anything because he doesn't have a hand. <laughs> Off he goes. He's going he's gonna to walk right on the high ground the whole way. He's going straight away from us, going back to the right now. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. When he goes over the rise, I'm going to run down and get my camera. Yeah, we missed our opportunity when when you wanted to crawl earlier. And Half a cigar for an unsuccessful hunt. Uh, we thought we were going to get it done. Trying to crawl on him Pretty a little close. bit, huh? Close, but half a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. He slipped down. He slipped away from us. And I figured I'd, I'd burn the half of it. It broke in my pocket. Burn the half of it since it's the last one until next year. This concludes my season. Shane, you, you're going to get on. I've got another. Are you going to try to kill one for yourself or just get a couple other guys on? No, I'm taking someone tomorrow morning, uh, and then I head to Michigan for Monday. I can hunt four days there so I have till next Thursday to hunt if I don't kill one in Michigan until the last day 
So I still got at least a week. Of We're going into June. Yeah, the end of June. I'll be sitting on the river, listening to a little music downtown in Nashville. I'll, I'll shoot cat. you some pictures of some dead gobblers. I'll shoot, shoot you some pictures of some big fish. <laughs> All right, I hope you folks enjoyed that uh, hunt the last couple days or last few days with Ernie and from Tethered and Catman back there finishing his half cigar and Garrett Prowl, DIY Sportsman. Uh, we still have some hunting ahead of us. Let me get the sun on this side. So uh, I guess we'll see you all in the next video.